my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firm, Norm Zag, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, we were supposed to go to Grand Rapids, Minnesota and fish today, but the Wheezy Outdoor people say that the bite collapsed with this cold front and now we're on our own body of water here on Lake Winnebago. Well, what? You told me we were in Grand Rapids. I thought that's where <laughs> we're at. Phil, well, just so you guys know, we have Phil the Blind Guy with hey, us today, our I'm special back. guest. Phil, I hate to tell you this, but we are not in Grand uh, Rapids. I we're you on made our. Off of the time uh, when you were right. Driving. I wasn't <laughs> driving quite that fast. You know what? Hey, I'll tell you what. What we do have is we have our good friends Lance Sweeting with us today too. Great day guide service. Yep. And you know, I'll tell you something, Lance. The water temperature is 64 degrees now. In the last three, four days, that water Trump temperature has dropped almost 12 degrees. Right. What do you yep. think about this bite and what's gonna happen? I know you didn't want to start real early this morning, right. which I totally understand. And we'll let that sun warm it up a little bit, Larry. I think as the day goes on, the bite's gonna turn on a little bit. You know, we'll probably hit some river flow right off the bat. Then, then as the day goes on, I had a good bite out here. Uh, pulling some uh, Selmos as usual there, Larry. We okay. are getting some nice walleye crappie, nice 11, 12 inch crappie. Wow. So, as this water warms up a little bit, I think that bite will turn on. Okay, and then we're going to go and do a little bit of rock fishing yep. down on the lake here. You know, and that's kind of the cool part about the Winnebago system, Lance. I know you live on this lake. Yep. I grew up on it. You know, the cool part about it is when you do get these cold fronts that come in, that these fish are going to kind of slow down on the main lake itself until that water temperature comes back up. But we have a lot of river system here, and when you can get into the flow of the river, and the water is extremely high, we got a lot of flow, then fish aren't as affected by the fronts as they would be on the lake itself. Correct. We have so many different areas that we can fish. It's nice to have those different options. We're spoiled on this body of water. We are. Tell you. you know, and the other part is that, you know, we get a lot, when you, we've had a tremendous amount of wind this year. And which in one sense is good, it dirties up the water on the, on the main lake itself. Yep. But the other part is that we can actually have places we can go and, and fish that if we were up on the Bay of Green Bay, just when you get them big north and northeast winds. There's no protection. You really nothing there. So, hey, I think it's going to be a very diverse day. I think we're going to catch a lot of fish. And stay tuned. Let's see what happens today here on the Winnebago system. What we're going to do here this morning because of this cold front and that drastic change in the water temperature is we went for the river right off the bat there and uh, hopefully I don't lose my rod. What we're going to be doing is dragging jigs and basically when you're dragging jigs you try to go with the lightest jig possible and when you hook the crawler I always use half a crawler and hook the crawler right straight off the bend of the hook right there. So what we're going to be doing is basically, again, the river is flowing that way. I'm pushing the boat sideways as much as I can. The wind is actually pushing us against us a little bit. So the key is to keep that boat moving at the natural speed of the river. So in just dragging them jigs, and what happens is, again, them fish are going to grab it and turn around. So you got to give them a lot of time. Don't set the hook right away. There we go. First fish of the day for me. And you know what that's there's a nice walleye. You know, again, Lance, you are 100 percent right. Let's start up in the river. The fish won't be affected by the cold front as much. And you know, when it comes to keeping fish on the Winnebago system, there's no size limit, which I don't agree with, but it is what it is. 
But the deal is, that's about a 14, 14 and a half incher, perfect eating size fish right there. So we like to keep them from about this size up to about 17, 18 inches, let everything else free. I'm not used to these little ultralights, Larry. I know, I love them. They're kind of fun. Rods there you go, nice fish, good eater. I want to eat. Good one for the frying pan. There, you know, there's a legit 15 inch fish again, you know, and just basically dragging. And you know, our game plan is today is just to kind of work the river here for an hour or two and then go out on the lake because the sun is definitely up and she's got some power to it and it's going to warm that water temperature up and then we'll go out and work some canes and do a little trolling, which is Lance loves to do, and uh, finish it off on some rocks. That's definitely a nicer fish. That'll be a keeper. Right? Remember the rule is no net, they gotta make it into the boat. Oh, is that the challenge? That's today? the challenge. Why Julian. you let them go so, right to your fishing line then? So don't uh, don't catch them too big. Let's see that fish. That's gonna There's be a dandy. No net, Lance. Oh, Come on, you gotta flip them on. in. No grabbing them either. Oh, Lance. I ain't Dutch all on this. Huh? You gotta do the torpedo. Lance, come on now. Let's see if he can. <laughs> Wine guy, go get the net for you. Larry, we got to bring a net. Lance, hey, you want me to get that fish in the boat for you? We got her. Nice fish. That one there, we're going to drop back in the water. That's a nice 19, 19 incher. Good fish. So, no, I saw the way that fish grabbed onto that, Lance. Just yep. real light. Lightweight. Boat. I was pulling him for about three, four feet and then just gave her a. Nice sweeping hook set. Nice job. Not a green carp hook set. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice sweeping oh, hook set. Phil's got a bite. You've been catching a lot of cigars lately. It's time that you step it up. Not much, a little not much bit. better, but. There, there, there you go. There, there, you go. Oh, oh, there it goes. There Quick was release. Down. If we would have had a net there, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Lat. Yeah. That's one fillet down the tubes. His birthday's coming up. I'm buying him a nut. It doesn't matter. He's got one right there. I'm still I know. Mind. What nut? Yeah. That's not a sponsor, so. All we use that for is picking up cans floating down that's the river. Right, that's exactly what it is. There you go, Lightning. You're Should on the right. Uh, yeah, good, because you're not getting the net. How much for a net? <laughs> right. ah, we caught her Larry style. Yeah, no net. that's it. Come on, Phil. You got to get him in now. Lance isn't going to net him for you because that's the way he is. Oh, there you go. Lift him up. Lift him up. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Phil. Nice job. Want to lift him up, hold him up a little bit. I can take him off for you. You got him, though, or you want me to grab him? Oh. I got him. I got him. I got the little guy. Right? That's not a sheep head. <laughs> Something's no, wrong that's with the sheephead. We're looking for a walleye, Phil. Oh, oh, right? I thought. Yeah, not like you usually. Sheephead back already, right, Larry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I catch sheephead. He usually goes and throws them in the live well and cleans it for me and tells me they're walleyes. Right. Well, just like he thought we were in Minnesota this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where I'm at. <laughs> wow. Yep. You know, you gotta like that. Now that's a legit 15, 15 and a half inch fish. Yep. Look how solid, again, these fish are. And again, it's because of our forage levels looking so good. Beautiful color, too, Larry. I love it, Lance. The this sunshine is... for the first time in a couple days certainly <laughs> yeah, helps it. Kidding. And the wind's not blowing 30 miles right. an hour. I can hear you from back here. Right. <laughs> here we go. My turn, Phil. Yeah. Sounds good. Boy, I'll tell you what, you know, lots of these 14-inch fish right there. Again, I think uh, Lance, you know, one or two more. It looks like uh, that water temperature has been warming up pretty good. Yeah. Let's head out to the lake and, and see what we can do out there. Gotta love it. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality 
and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco Premium Covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco Covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. You know, what we're doing here today is we're trying to show everybody how diverse this Winnebago system is. So we did a little river fishing this morning. Now what we're doing is we're coming out on the lake out here and we're going to fish these cane beds. And the key to fishing the canes is I always like to find the canes that have the deeper edges on the windward side. So this one's got a deeper edge on the west side. We've got a west wind blowing right in there. I'm going to keep the boat out just far enough so we can cast into the canes and drag it back real slow. Kind of the same thing, basically just using half a crawler, a 16th or 8th ounce jig, depends on the wind. And basically, you, know, you can use leeches. Sometimes if you get a really hot spot or you get a real cold front that comes in, you can also anchor up and slip bobber into them. You know, what you say, Lance, that's usually about the best way to work these cane beds. Yeah, exactly. A lot of times, Larry, the windier the better. You know, when it gets so windy, you almost got to anchor up and let the slip bobbers just slide right back in there. Perfect. Slide right down the canes and Work them till you're done. All right, let's see what happens. Canes. Oh. Another sheephead? Nope. Right next to the bowl. That's here, a Larry. good one, too. Are you going to flip them in? <laughs> now that's a nice one. Of buddy. It's about time you break the streak here. Well, 15 sheephead, one walleye. Right. You know, well. and that's kind of hold that one up. That's kind of the nice part about, again, oh, I just missed one. Just missed Mi one? Yep, they must have just moved in. Yep. Nice fish, 15 inches, and yep. tell, tell everybody how we're actually working these cane beds. You can see in the background right, right there. We're on the wind-driven side here, pitching our jigs, try to land them two, three feet away from the cane beds. Larry, I know you like to drag them back, and I like to do a little popping action in. Well, if you Usually catch... when one person starts getting one way, one gets them the other way, then we switch quick. Yep, I like so, to get oh, right. Oh, Phil's hooked up. Phil's got another one, yep. I like to get right oh, up into them canes, too. I got no a weed. I got a weed, weed or something, yeah. You know, you guys could have messed with him and told him it was a ball. I should have said that to him, but you know, I don't want him getting ornery on us today. We got to fish with him all day. Oh, here we go. Got one, Larry? Yeah, there we go. Billy go? No, you no, got a walleye. I, my turn for a walleye. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, all again, I like when I'm casting, just using the eighth ounce jig today, and uh, I like to get that thing as close as I can to them cane beds and sometimes even get caught in them. But, Again, a little bit smaller than the one that you just caught, you know, 14, 14 and a half incher. We'll throw this one in there. But yeah, you know, I think these canes, Lance, will go pretty much all year if you get a cool summer like we have so far here. Yeah. But it seems to me, and you know, I'm sure other people will say something differently, but it seems like once that water temperature hits that 80 degree mark, then I have a hard time myself catching fish out of the canes. But when you do have a summer like this one, where we've only had a little bit of warm weather. I mean, in a ton of rain, in a ton of, of flow. You know, this is another thing, Lance, that I, that I personally think happens here. And, you know, there might be a lot of people that might disagree on it. But, you know, I think when you have years like this where you have a tremendous amount of water, we've had rains 
two or three days a week. It's been crazy with some of the rains. I know uh, a couple weeks ago we had seven and a quarter inches by my house in three days, but it creates a lot of flow through the system. And I personally think what happens is that it, it, the fish actually come back up into the system. Well, hang on, Phil, hang on. Oh, you got sorry, me hooked. Got yeah. Yeah, I got, let me get him in. Yep, sorry, Phil, I got into your line. You know what, again, basically just pitching back into them canes. And yeah, sorry, Phil, I actually hooked Phil's line pulling, pulling back in there. And you know, we just moved up to this other set of canes. We pulled two off of the last one. And basically, I'm just using the trolling motor and just moving along slowly. I just missed one in there, pitched back in there, and he grabbed it again. Again, just that, let me unhook you, Phil. Just half a crawler, 16 or eighth ounce jig today. 16th or eighth is what I typically use. It all depends on how rough it is, just so you can control that jig. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Here we go, you guys. Another nice fish. Nice fish. Woo, love it, I'll tell you that. Hey, Lance, one more, and then let's switch gears and go do what you love to do, trolling. Not necessarily love to do it, but let me go back a second, Larry. One more, didn't you say that three fish ago? Uh, did I say that three fish ago? Okay, well, all right. Hey, Lance, Lance, how about five minutes more of fishing the canes, and then let's go do some trolling, Mr. Selmo, and pull some Selmos, and then you, let's do something interesting. Let's go into Winniconne, make a drift through there, go down into Butamore, and then let's go down into Oshkosh and see how far we can get before we run out of sunlight. It's a beautiful day. Let's it go is there. a great day, I'll tell you that. Kyle Sorts here from OB Outdoors. I gotta tell you, you guys are looking for an awesome publication. Wisconsin's longest running outdoor publication. Make sure to check out Badger Sportsman and subscribe today. And I'm Glenn Kern with Battle on Bago, and I'm not slaying the cheap metal on Lake Winnebago. I'm reading the Badger Sportsman magazine. It's got great fishing and hunting articles, awesome pictures, and really funny jokes. Plus, the people that make it are pretty funny too. Hey, I'll tell you what. So, check out the Badger Sportsman magazine, Wisconsin's top educator for the outdoors. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Selmo time. This year, instead of going with plastic rod holders, because I'm sick of them breaking all the time and having problems with them, I went with quality rod holders, and our good friends over at Cisco lined me up here, and basically I'm going to put my trees on here, so, and we're going to use them for trolling today. So, pretty simple there, ready to go. Lance, give me some rods. We're setting up right now, uh, typically we're running in five to seven feet of water out here. And what we have been doing is running number four Salmos, anything Dalmatian, Viking, Fire Tiger, and running anywhere 18 to 22 feet back. Seems to be the target area. And once we get her set up, if they're biting a little deeper, we'll start sliding all the baits to that depth. But it's a real shallow column right in here. So 18 to 20 feet, that'll be running four or five feet down, five, six feet of water, the fish will come up and pop her. We just got them all, Lance. That's the way it's supposed to happen. Is it? Oh, a little walleye. Walleye, another walleye. I'm telling you, wall, Lance, walleye, 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 walleye. Blue and silver. Blue and silver. That did not take very long. No, it right? just got set up. Right? We got plenty of fish today, Larry. We Let's do. Just have Let's... some fun. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, nice fish. Nice deal, nice deal. Go. Turn around with that one, Lance. Whoops. That's catch and release right, right. there. 
You know, it is amazing so far, you know, the, the different things we've done so far have all worked out pretty well. It doesn't always happen this way. And we're gonna keep moving with this way. We're gonna make, finish this pass out here and then we're gonna pick up and let's go into Winnicani and drag through Winnicani and then let's work our way down into Oshkosh onto Winnebago. That sounds like a game plan. Got enough of these today, let them go swimming. You know what we're doing right now, this is what they call the gun club. Hey, that's a nice walleye. Get them yeah. in there, Lance. You know, uh, basically, again, we're just kind of dragging jigs down the edge of the river channel right here. And there's a bunch of clam beds right here. That's kind of the, the cool part about this right here is that you're dragging through the clam beds. And I'm trying to keep us between four and eight foot right here, right in the edge of the river channel. Right on the drop. All right. So far, so good. There's one. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, yep, these fish are definitely stacked up on this break right here. What do you got? Sheep head or Wally? Oh, that's a Wally. Yeah, I can see him thumping. Give me Wally. Oh, nice fish right there. Another nice fish. You know, I'll tell you what, again, this is a great system. And you know, this bite will pretty much go almost all summer long. It'll get a little tougher out here fishing like it always does. <laughs> hey, are you smoking? The bite will get a little tougher out here like it always does when we have big forage hatches, usually at the end of July, and it gets a little tougher. Let's let this one go. We got plenty. Ooh, I got one. Here's another one. All right, I think this one might be a sheep, sir. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Oh, sheeps. Yeah, sheeps. Oh, look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. Bass. White bass, yeah. You know what? Sometimes the stars are just lined up. And like our old buddy Matt Merton says, sometimes you're a bug and sometimes you're a windshield. Boy, I tell you, we're all windshields today. I'm kind of liking this. Holy cats. That's that nice feels fish. good. That's nice one. That's a nice fish. You gonna flip them? I'm gonna try, Larry. I'm gonna duck. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a nice fish right there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, hold that one up, Lance, before you let him go. You know, but Larry, I'll tell you something. You gotta look at the belly on these. Look at the look, look at, at the belly on that fish right it's there. It's probably only about an 18 inch, but probably close to two pounds. Right. Oh, these are nice fish. Healthy eating fish. You know, and it seems like now we're on Butamore, Lance, and I'll yeah. tell you, we started off on up on Poygan, we caught fish up there, went up in the wolf, we caught fish there. Now we're went through Winnet County, caught fish there, and now we're down on Butamore. This has really been one of them fantastic days. We're trying to make it to Winnebago. Right. It's one of those days where you can't go wrong. No. Sometimes you're those, the bugs. Those are good feeling days. They are. Let's let that one <laughs> go. Let her see another day. It's right. a good fight. Now you got another wall. Like we're trying to make it to Oshkosh, Phil. I'm sorry. You guys stop catching all these fish. This has been an amazing, that's a nice fish. It is. Oh, he's underneath the boat. You want to net that one? Well, what do you got there, Phil? Here you go. Yeah, he's fighting a little bit. There, there we go. go. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I don't think you're that That's line might pop. That's another nice up. walleye. That's like three in a row. I got one, Lance got one, and now this guy. That's like yeah. three in a row for us. Bing, bing, bing. We yeah, have a couple caught, stacked in here. We have caught so many fish today. This is absolutely incredible. There, Phil. There, should I, lift, should I lift yep, them? Hold that one up, right? <laughs> hold that one up there, buddy. <laughs> See you next year. Yeah. Take care, buddy. Nice job. Good work, Phil. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. 
Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Phone by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Phone will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. What are you casting back there? Well, I don't have a don't have a gold pimple, Larry. So I went to a <laughs> nice black fit. and gold Rapala. Oh, Lance, I should have known that's yeah, your favorite. It's gotta have gold, Larry. Right? <laughs> you are. If it's gold, I can't believe you don't have a bunch of gold chains around your neck, Lance. I can't. No believe. jewelry needed. Right. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week is brought to you by our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats up there in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. I'll tell you what, when you're back in your trailer in, and I've got a bunk trailer, one of the most important things is that you back that trailer all the way down and let them bunks get completely submerged so the carpet is wet. So I'll actually back it down and leave it in there for almost 30 seconds to a minute and then pull it back up a little bit so I can get my boat on the trailer. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lance. We did, we accomplished what we wanted to do. We started on the top side of the system and worked our way all the way down back to Winnebago. And the amazing part was, it doesn't always happen this way, we caught fish all the way through. We could have stopped at pretty much any one of them spots and caught our limits. I mean, we must have probably caught 30 to 50 walleyes today. Just an absolutely awesome time. And if people want to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? Best way to get a hold of me is 410-9920. Give me a call, leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or go to my guiding, Great Day Guiding on website and all the information, rates and everything will be on, on there and look forward to it. Had a great day of fishing, a lot of different types of styles that we were able to fish today. Right. Everything worked out great, so. Gotta love it. Hey, I'll tell you what, make sure everybody follows us on our social media sites like Facebook, because we have a lot of great things that happen all week long on there. So make sure you guys join us on our social media. Phil, thank you, buddy. Lance, Good, good time as thank always. You. Lance, and, I'm glad I finally got to fish with you. It was enjoyable. I had a good thanks, time. Thanks, Phil. Hey, and like I always say, just remember, what a great day to be alive. That's for sure.